Hey boo, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. So happy to have you on this channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, if you are part of the family. Hey girl, hey. I know we getting our stuff together over here. Good morning. Mm, kinda. Good morning, y'all. It is 11.34 a.m. It is Saturday, November 4th. I'm a little energized right now. I just finished a cup of coffee. Y'all already know how my Saturdays go. I have been up and moving. I think I got up around like 7 a.m. this morning. I went ahead and knocked out my cleaning because this is not gonna be a cleaning vlog. The cleaning got done, baby, okay? I did what I was supposed to do. But this is not gonna be a cleaning Saturday vlog. I kinda want this vlog to be like, you know, like us out doing things. And if you watch my last few vlogs, you know that I've been a bit, <laughs> I gotta calm down. I have so much energy right now. And this bonnet like, ew, <laughs> like what is going on right now? But anyways, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into all this mess, okay? First things first, if you watch my previous vlogs, then you know. I have been a very busy girl. It has been mainly work for me. So I said, you know what? This weekend is going to be like a slow, relaxed weekend. And by slow, I don't mean we're going to be in the house, baby. We outside for sure. Okay. <laughs> we are outside. But just kind of pour into myself and just kind of rejuvenate myself because I shared with y'all my last vlog with the retreat. It was a beautiful experience, y'all. Like when I tell y'all, it was so beautiful. I can't express that enough. And I thank God so much for that because he literally came and moved all through that retreat, baby. He's, he had his hand on that cabin. He had his hand on every woman that was at that retreat. But yeah, I was working last weekend. So this weekend, I wanted to just like relax, like pour into myself. Don't really have an itinerary. I just want to do what I want to do. And y'all know I do my monthly deep clean, just being honest and transparent, baby. I, I hit that quick clean this morning, <laughs> okay? That's a positive of like having a structured cleaning schedule. I have my moments where I know when my body is telling me to relax and I know when my body is telling me to chill. And I feel like that is so important. So for me, when I felt like my body is tired last week, when I tell y'all I felt exhausted from that retreat and just working nonstop those weekends, my body, like last week, I thought I was feeling better Wednesday when I said I was feeling so much better, but baby, I was exhausted. I didn't really start feeling like myself 100%. And so probably like Thursday evening, I started to feel a little better. And then yesterday I started feeling like myself 100%. So let's take care of you. So yesterday I went and I got my nails done. So I did this design. And I just had them, you know, I like something different. I like to try to find like different things. But I just did like a very clean black tip. He went all the way around with it. I went a little longer than I probably should have, but I was like, we're going to make it work because it's, it's cute, you know. Got my feet done. And y'all know in previous vlogs, I've shared that Medi Petties aren't as relaxing to me. I definitely felt pampered. Like I was on my phone a little bit and then I put my phone down and I just relax. Got a pedicure, y'all. Listen, I felt so good yesterday. And so I was like, this weekend, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I just wanna like do what I want to do. Y'all know I was gone last week, as I've already said. My husband was like, you know, I wanna do something for you next weekend. He told me this last week, he's like, I miss you. I wanna do something for you next weekend. It's gonna be a surprise. He's taking me out tonight. I don't know where we're going. And I'm like, perfect. Anywho, let's get into it. First things first, y'all. I want to go to Sephora today. You know, I was out of town and I've not really been in a place of caring to go to Sephora to catch the good sales that they have going on right now. They have the Sephora sale going on. So I definitely want to go see what I can find in that. So we're actually going to do that here in the next couple hours once I get, you know, Sephora ready because she looks a mess right now. I don't ever really get on my vlogs and my bonnet, baby. But we about to tackle this hair too. I got my hair done last week. I got the half up, half down style, right? But this time I did it a little different. Normally I just have it all up and then I have it down in the back. But this time I saw where they was wearing the like half up, half down where they like part your ponytail like that. I don't know what it's called. I still call it a half up, half down. They part your part right here and your ponytail and then all this is like kind of out. What was I thinking? 
I'm um, natural. Like I don't get relaxers or anything like that. I do get it flat earned and stuff occasionally. I've been trying not to put a lot of heat on my hair and stuff. So I've been trying to keep it like up. So I don't know what I was thinking with that hairstyle, but I got that hairstyle. Went to Gatlinburg. It was super nice there. The weather was super like good. It was warm. It was not cold. And between working and stuff like that, she had a poof situation. I took it down the front. The back was sewn in. And then the ponytail was like sewed on, you know, whatever, how they do it. So I said, you know what? I am going to do my own hair. Like I'm going to keep the back sewed in. She did a great job. The hair place, I mean, the stylist that I went to, y'all, she did so good. She was very professional. Let me shout her out real quick because y'all know we be happy about good customer service over here, baby. We don't take that lightly. Place I, the person I went to was called the Royal Glam Experience. And this is her Instagram. And she was very professional, y'all. When I tell y'all she was very professional, she did a great job. I just didn't think it through when I picked my hairstyle, but like her work was so beautiful. And I'm gonna insert a picture so y'all can see how it looked before I sweated it out. It was so pretty. So let's get into this hair bowl. Okay, so this chair is definitely sitting lower than what I had intended, but we're gonna make it work because we gotta get this hair done. So yesterday I went to the hair store before my nail appointment. And I grabbed the things that I saw I would need from watching videos and stuff. So got to be, I already had a can of got to be, but I've had it for a long time. And it's like every time I attempt to do a hairstyle where I need got to be, I'd be like literally about to run out of it after having it for so long. And then I got some hair glue because I don't know if I want to try to. So let me explain the hairstyle I'm doing. So I want to have like the two pieces coming down in the front of my face. Um, and I want to have like the ponytail kind of sitting like, not all the way up, but like, you know, probably about right here. Those two pieces, I don't know if I want to glue them in. Because I also seen this video where this girl like sewed those pieces in so that they stay longer. Because I got this hairstyle done before and because I work out, the glued in pieces didn't stay in my hair long before I sweat it. Like the pieces came out like super quick. So that's why I was thinking about just trying to sew it in. I've never sewn hair into my head. Let's just, let's just let me get that out. I've never sewed anything into my hair, okay? Got the hair glue for that. And I use this for my lashes and I was running out of it. So got me some hair glue. I got me some rubber bands. I saw where they used the rubber bands. So I got some of that. And this ain't for my hair, but I needed a new sponge for my makeup. So I got me a little sponge, makeup sponge. And then I got me some needle and thread for the sewing in part. Even if I don't sew in my pieces in the front, I wanna sew the ponytail on because I'm using some good hair. The hair that I'm using and that she used when she did my half up, half down was from Kendra's Boutique. And if you've never bought hair from Kendra's Boutique, baby, they got some good quality hair. I was praying when she was doing my hair because I forgot to tell her and I didn't think about it till she was almost done. And I was like, oh my God, I hope she's not gluing these tracks in my ponytail because <laughs> this is some good hair. I was taking it down I noticed she sewed it in. So I was like, hmm, let me try to watch a video on how to sew in a ponytail. So that's what I did. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> but I tell you, my hair looks a mess. Ah, look at my hair. So the wig part is good. And I want to show y'all. Like, So the, y'all don't mind my hair. When I tell y'all my hair is so thick. But the weave, y'all, is so pretty. Ah, let's get this hair off this brush. But yeah, this is some good hair. When I tell you, I don't even remember the inches because I bought this back in, when we got our family pictures done like in the summertime or like in March, I think it was, maybe the spring. But this is some good hair from Kendra's Boutique, y'all. The task is this, okay? My hair is super thick and that's why I don't like to deal with it. I don't like to flat iron my hair. I don't like to do my hair. And I actually got my hair cut really short. Um, I think it was in 2022. Because I went to the doctor and I was told I had an overactive thyroid. Health education real quick. I cannot have this hair sticking up on my head at all. For those that don't know, your thyroid is a butterfly gland in your throat, right? It secretes your hormones. So when I went for my yearly, which is why it's so important to get checked <laughs> and get your yearlies done, I have them to check everything, okay? And she basically was just saying that my thyroid was overactive, meaning it was secreting too many hormones. Thyroid is what secretes hormones throughout your whole body. And you don't want it to not secrete enough and you don't want it to over secrete hormones, right? And yes, I'm about to hold this hair down because I don't want to look like a troll. So basically since mine was overactive, I was considered hyperactive. 
And then if it's not secreting enough hormones, you're considered hypoactive. It basically gave me medicine to slow my thyroid down. And that medicine like caused my hair to thin. So I told her, cut it, like cut it. I want it to be healthy, cut it, right? It'll grow back, it's just hair. So she did just that. She cut it super short, y'all. I need to get it trimmed, honestly, because, ooh, child. It's definitely time for a trip. So the medicine helped my thyroid get back to a healthy state. It's just important to get your body checked because sometimes you don't notice the symptoms that your body is given. So yeah, make sure you're getting your body checks, checked and staying up on your health. Like it's so important. So I'm gonna blow this out because one thing I do know from watching those videos is we have to make sure that our hair is like bone straight. I don't really want to add heat to it, but I'm gonna see how straight I can get it just like blow drying it out. So I'm gonna put music on this part and speed it up because I mean, come on, y'all don't, I mean, y'all know how to blow dry your hair. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all the girl that I got this idea from too, because I know her video should be in my history. I'm actually gonna pull her video up because honey, she was given step by steps and her name is Nay Simone. So this is her. She's the one that I seen doing this hairstyle, and she really broke it down where I could understand it. So I was like, okay. I'm about to go and put that video back on. I blow dried it out, y'all. I'm so mad because I just looked at my camera and I literally have 22%. So I'm gonna try to like just get it, get like pieces of what I'm doing step by step so that my battery don't die. I had the Canon GX, Canon G7X before the Sony ZV10. And that's one of the cons I will say about switching over if you are looking for a camera. The Canon G7X battery lasted way longer than the Sony ZV-10. Like this battery to me, in my opinion, dies so quick. So anywho, I just blow dried my hair out. And now I'm about to part off the part that I want to be my vein. I parted some hair out the back too so that it could cover up my track. And now I'm just gonna go in with my got to be. And so I got the braid, I braided it down, I slicked my hair back, and then I kind of like flat ironed the leave out part that I did as far as like trying to cover up my tracks. I did leave a lot out because like I said, I'm trying to prevent putting a lot of heat on my hair. So this is the part that I'm worried about y'all. She sewed it onto her braid, right? And I did have to add some braiding hair I just finished getting ready. I finished my hair. Y'all, I actually love the way my hair turned out. I feel like it turned out pretty good. Um, I might've did the part in the front, like the bangs a little too big. So I've been going back and forth with that. But other than that, I actually love the way it turned out. See like this part right here, I have, fr I have pressed it, flat earned it, trying to get it to lay flat. So I might've added like a track too many in the front. But it turned out good. The ponytail, listen, I mean, it's going to give what it needs to give for today. But lesson learned, you know, I'll, I'll know better next time. And I did do some wand curls to just give it like that fuller look. Um, and I just thought that was easier and it was quicker. Um, time definitely ran over. So if I'm out of breath, listen, I have been rushing. The reservation is at like 7 or 7.30. So we're also trying to go to the mall before we go eat. We wanted to stop at Zara to see what they had as far as like their fall stuff. This is the outfit, y'all. This bodysuit, I've actually worn this before. This bodysuit is from Amazon. It was the one that was like, uh, went viral on TikTok some years ago. Um, definitely recommend. And then this jacket, oh, where's my belt? Hold on. This jacket actually has a belt to go to it. I got this from J Lux Label and I gotta figure out putting this belt on because the loops are like super thin. Uh, and I love this jacket. It's like the perfect little trench jacket. I bought this like last year. And it's like the perfect little jacket for this weather that's kind of warm and then it gets cooler at night. So I normally try to wear this like in the spring and in the fall. Where is the other? These loops are super thin. 
And this is how long the trench coat is. It's so cute. And it has like these buttons right here. So you can wear it closed and have the belt on and just give it that, you know, eh, she has arrived. Or you can just be, you know, cute and open and simple with it. I didn't do a lot of accessories as you can tell, which I probably should have put on. I think I am gonna put on my other bracelet. But some simple just diamond earrings. I don't have on a necklace. And yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna go with. But I like this look. Oh, and for shoes, I'm wearing these boots that I got from, I think I got these from Fashion Nova last year. But they're like a pointy toe boot. This Gabrielle Chanel, it's almost out. I need to get some more. Uh, I have a good little, I feel like I have a good little selection of uh, perfumes, but I definitely want to get more and get more into like, some other fragrances. So yeah, we're about to go ahead and head out. Like I said, we're gonna head to the mall. I wanna go to Zara and I wanna go to Sephora, but I don't like to be rushed in Sephora when I'm looking for new products. So I think I'm just gonna go to Sephora tomorrow. This hair definitely took up more time than I expected. You know how you watch somebody do something and you're like, oh, okay, that's easy. I can have that done in no time. Y'all, when I tell y'all, <laughs> I was struggling like, it probably was nothing but God but the, that the camera went dead because I probably would have discouraged y'all and even trying to do this style. When I tell y'all I had thread going, oh God. <laughs> but I figured it out and it's cute. So that's all that matters. But it definitely took up more time than I expected. So let me go ahead and head out um, and I will check in with y'all. I am going to take my camera with me and I'm going to try to get some vlogging while we're out too. Definitely want to vlog the restaurant, let y'all know how the food is. So yeah, let's go ahead and head out. Like I said, Tony's actually in the car waiting on me and he's probably about to call me real soon. So wrap it up. I'm done yesterday. I went to LA now. So I've never been there. Is that off Sam Ridley? Yes. Okay. Yes. I've heard they were good, but I've never been there. It's like by like the little theaters. Okay. Like the little outside yeah. uh, shopping center. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you have a good one. Cinema. This is the restaurant he surprised me with, y'all. I've never been here before. I'm so excited. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Okay, so you're gonna get the burger. church let me fix this hair because i feel like i got this <laughs> i got these flexi brows going over ciao 
Me and AJ are going to church. Tony actually had to go into work this morning. So it's just going to be me and AJ today. Um, so I'm getting ready for that, y'all. Last night was so fun. We went to the mall. We went to Zara. So I found some cute stuff in Zara. Um, Tony didn't find anything. <laughs> And then we found AJ like a top. We found AJ something. Uh, it was like a flannel jacket we found him. And it's so cute. I'm gonna show it to y'all. The color is so cute. After that, he took me, we just kind of like rode downtown. Have y'all ever been to Nashville? I know it's really beautiful downtown. And it's so cute because when we first started dating, that's what I loved about him because I'm not from Nashville, but he's like from Nashville. So he knows like all these places that I don't know. So when we first started dating, he used to take me to all these unique places and these take me on these unique dates. And I just used to love it because it was places I had never seen. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. You have been waiting on me. No, you good. I'm about to throw my outfit on. I'm about to put this up. I'm done. I had no idea where we was going, but he ended up taking me to cinema. So cinema is this really nice restaurant. And I didn't know this. Like I had knew about cinema. I was actually going to host a brunch there before but I didn't do it. Black on and it's absolutely gorgeous. I tried to get as many videos as I could. Um, the food was good. I got a burger. The burger was so good, y'all. They didn't cook it right, so I had to send the first one back because they, I like my burgers to be well done, but not burnt. And they got it right, baby. It was fire. Restaurant, the vibe was absolutely beautiful. The customer service was, oh my God, because they sent my burger out and it wasn't right the first time, they um, gave me free dessert. They let me pick dessert and, you know, it was delicious. I had got a skillet, um, snickerdoodle cookie with ice cream and cinnamon. Oh, it was so good. Yeah, we had a good time. We just talked, laughed, and then we met this other couple. They were from um, here. And they had been married for, I want to say, 40 years. And she was telling us that she went to uh, MTSU. And her and her husband was just telling us how he used to drive up, you know, and see her at school. And we just, we love hearing stories like that. And Tony was like, wow, and y'all are still dating each other. And I was just like, I love that. Like they was, they still dating each other. They were still happy and enjoying each other's presence. It was just so beautiful. And I love to see stuff like that. And so they were just sharing this. They got grandkids and you know, just, it was beautiful. It was fun. But yeah, let me go ahead and um, I just wanted to hop on here and tap in for today. We have a lot to do today. So I'm about to go ahead and get my clothes on for church. And we're going to try to get to church because we're running a little behind today, guys. And I will hop back on here once we get out of church and fill y'all in on what we got to do today. Okay. Hey, guys. So it is a little while later. I done made it back to the house from church. I done changed clothes, cut on my comfortable clothes. I just got on this like comfortable um, long sleeve shirt. I got this from H&M. So I just have that on and then I have on like these leggings. I've had these leggings for so long. I can't tell y'all where I got these from. Sorry, I don't remember. But they're so comfortable. And this is like one of my favorite pair of leggings. So it sucks that I can't remember where I got them from. They have like the lines going down them. And then I just have on my Yeezys. Um, I did not wear this to church because I know what y'all are thinking. Like, girl, last time we talked to you, you were headed to church. And I know you didn't wear that. No, I did not wear this to church. But the sermon, y'all, was so good as always. I go to a church called First Baptist. Pastor James McCarroll is my pastor and he is a true teacher. The sermon was about open your ears so that you can hear God and how sometimes we be deaf to what God is saying to us. And so we can't interpret what he wants us to do or who he wants us to be. It was a very powerful message. It also talked about how he will remove people around you or move certain crowds so that he can have that intimate moment with you and so that he can speak to you clearly and that you can hear him without distractions and stuff like that. Very powerful message. Very, very powerful message. He was like, be mindful of the people around you and make sure what comes out of their mouths and that their demeanors are a reflection of God. And I just thought that was so powerful, y'all. It was a great message. So back at the house... I got my candle burning. Just to give y'all a rundown, we got to go to Sephora. Y'all know they are having their sale. I have to go on Sephora, re-up on some things I'm out of. And I also shared with y'all earlier in this vlog that there's also some new items that I want to pick up, try out and see how I like them. And then I also need to go to Target. I need to re-up on my, my skincare, my body care things. And you know, in the winter time, when it gets cold out, you got to kind of <laughs> add some items to that routine because my skin, baby, be dry. I also need to go to TJ Maxx. I want to look at candles. And then I was going to go grocery shopping, but you know what? No, because I've been on this whole de grocery delivery thing. I'm a little late to the party. Uh, but listen, I'm, I'm here for it. Now, I, I, I'm all in, baby. 
y'all sold me on the groceries at first i did not like the grocery delivery like that i would do it you know in desperate times if i really just didn't feel like going out because i feel like they're not gonna take their time to pick the groceries like i do baby they've been doing really good with it like this last couple orders out in place they've been really good i don't really place i mean i don't really order a lot of vegetables and fruit i like to go to Publix and pick my own because that you know everybody just ain't able and i don't think i'm gonna cook because you know i told y'all this weekend is about me baby i don't want to work i don't want to clean which i did clean yesterday i don't want to cook so i'm still debating if i'm gonna cook today or if i'm just gonna place an order and pick something up because I really just want to chill today. Like I said, this weekend, I just want to just do me. I don't want to have to have no responsibilities. Just enjoy the moment, okay? Before I head out, I wanted to show you all what I got at Zara. And I didn't get a lot. Um, let me set this bag right here. I didn't get a lot, lot, but I definitely got enough. You feel me? These cargo denim jeans. I can have my eyes on these. For so long. Do y'all see the look? Hold on. Because y'all not seeing me. Look at the details. Look at these details. They're so cute. And I tried them on. They are a little tight, but that's okay. I cannot wait to wear these. Definitely already have an outfit in mind. The next thing I got. Look, I don't even remember. Oof. I forgot about these. Y'all, these are so cute. These baby are so cute. I see the waist. It's got like this little ruffle beige waist. And these are like, a, I think they're an olive green. They kind of look brown. They're like an olive, I would say they're an olive green. And then they have like the pockets on the back. They're so cute. I seen these, honey, snatched them. Y'all already know my behavior when I see something I like. I snatches it up. I got these and then I got a top to match it. And I try to get this top in a large. Cause even though it's a crop top, I don't want it to fit too croppy. So I got this like fuzzy beige top. Look at this, this is so cute. And I'm gonna wear that with these. And I got it in a crop top, but like I said, I don't want it to be too croppy, but I wanted it to be enough like gap where the beige ruffle will show around the waist. That's what I wanted. Clothes make me so happy. I just love clothes. And then I got this. Cause y'all know the black, the black and white stripes are definitely in this season. I don't know if I said straps or stripes, but I definitely meant stripes. So I got this turtleneck. That concludes this mini Zara haul. And then AJ done already took his. Uh, well, we got him upstairs. So I was gonna show y'all that, but he done took it upstairs. Like. I he came in here to look at it and he loved it. So get ready to head out. Let me drink some more water. I have been trying to get back on my Zoom. Ain't that the term y'all be using? <laughs> back on my Zoom. You know when you be off from your schedule? And this is me personally. I don't know about everybody, but I'm sure some of y'all can relate. You know when you be off your schedule, you have to get back into the routine. You have to get back into the, you know, I just... It takes me a minute. Okay, y'all, so we made it to TJ Maxx. I am looking at the candles. This is one of my favorite brands, the Sand Vogue, and they also have one for like, if you have a dog, and it's really good too. Um, this one right here, the Sand Paws. That's a good one too. Get this scent and back on my work. Sorry. <laughs> they are small. <laughs> Oof. That's terrible. Man, I wish I could find another burger. How big this one is. This is huge. How much is this? It's only $30. This is huge. Oh, it stinks. I'm so picky when it comes to candles. Like, I cannot. The Christmas stuff. They got all the Christmas stuff out. I love Christmas. So cute. All oh, these ornaments. That is so cute. These are 59. Those are cute. These are not my colors, but those are adorable. I'm trying to think do I need anything else? 
TJ Maxx, Home Group, I love them all. So we just made it to the Christian store. It's so beautiful. I got so much stuff in here. How far I got this, this is a bookmark. I have a communion cups and stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. Love one another. John 13, 34. I love those. Those are so cute. We got these that say walk by faith. back at the house I'm so tired <laughs> I don't know what time it is but I want to say it's probably like five o'clock now I ended up going to TJ Maxx I ended up going to Sephora we ended up going to the Christian store and I think that was it I did not go to Target um, I just did not have the patience today it was so crowded and so many people out I wish I would have went yesterday had it not took so long with me trying to do my hair. So I might go to Target tomorrow or I might just go to Target Tuesday. I was going to show y'all what I got. Only thing about TJ Maxx is candles. I love their candles, but it's like they never have more than just one of the scents you need or you like. So they did have a candle that I had before and it's actually burning in there. I'm going to have to show y'all that one, but... But they had this bergamot and bergamot waters, I think is what it's called at Bath and Body Works. That is like one of my favorite candles at Bath and Body Works. I seen this and I was like, let me smell this, y'all. When I tell y'all, it smells so good. It really smells like the Bath and Body Works version. Oh, it smells so good. I just say Marshalls when I got it at TJ Maxx. Well, they're all the same. That's crazy though. I've never seen the Marshalls label on the uh, TJ Maxx items. And this is a nice size candle for $12.99. When I tell y'all, it smells so good. If y'all go to Marshall's, clearly not TJ Maxx, even though I went to TJ Maxx, check this scent out, y'all. It smells amazing. I've never even heard of this brand. And then I did find this other one, and it's the Sand Fog. That's normally the brand that I get at TJ Maxx is the Sand Fog. And then they have like the uh, Sand and Paws. I get that too. Um, and this is the Firewood and Silver. And it smells good. It's somewhat of a fall scent, uh, but it still has like that clean, you know, scent that I like. The lid says Silent Night, so yeah. So those are the only candles I found and they didn't have duplicates in neither one of these. So I just had to take what I could get and roll up out of there. And then I also wanted to get some new sheets. So I got these sheets and I normally do white, but I had been saying I wanted to try cream. Um, to see how I like the cream color. And I actually think that's going to look really good. And then for Sephora, I still forgot to get lip liner. I wanted to get a lip liner. I had my mind set on getting a lip liner. Got distracted looking for this brow gel and forgot about my lip liner. First things first, we got some Fenty Body Butter. Now, Y'all know I love the basic scent. I forget whatever it's called, the buttercream, whatever. It's in like the bluish purple jar. Listen, if y'all like that one, this one right here, like, let me, let me scoot in because I need y'all to hear me. <laughs> this one right here, oh my God. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it smells so good. This is only, uh, I guess, seasonal, like around the holidays because I first tried this last year, the uh, butter drop is what it's called. But I'm trying to figure out what is this shimmering whipped oil body cream. When I tell y'all, this is so good. Oh, it smells like kind of like cinnamon, but it's like very, very light. This is my favorite. Rihanna, please sell this year round. Not just for the holidays, honey. Just going to sell this year round. And then I also got the 24-hour brow setter. I seen this on TikTok. It's this one girl that I follow. I cannot think of her name and I don't have my phone, but her eyebrows always look so good. And I'm like, what is she doing? 
to get her eyebrows to set like that. I found out she was using this 24 hour brow setter and it's by the brand Benefit. And yeah, so you basically put this on, I wanna say she puts this on after she fills her eyebrows in. She puts the gel on. I don't know if you have to do it that way, but that's the way she did it. So yeah, I got some of that. And it basically locks your brow structure in. Charlotte Tilbury, is it Tilbury or Tilsbury? I have the setting spray. And then I wanted to try the Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencil. I used the setting spray in this brand, but I've never used any of their other um, items. So I got it in the black brown color. And because I had um, so many points, I forgot how many points I had, but you know you get to pick a free item. So I got the Milk Mascara, the Milk brand mascara. You know, I told y'all in the past, I didn't really wear mascara because I feel like it would irritate my eyes. But like days like today when I don't want to wear um, eyelashes, I'm going to try to get into wearing like mascaras and just try out different brands to see which one don't irritate my eyes. Oh, my lips are dry. It says Volume Extreme Boom. I'm going to see what it do. I'm going to see what it do. And then I got the Summer Fridays uh, Blush Balm Stick. I had seen this trending on TikTok. And I love like pink or nude when it comes to buying stuff or like when it comes to buying like lip glosses or lip balms and stuff like that. This is my first time buying the Summer Fridays. I've never had this, but I've heard good things about it. So this is what it looks like. And... I got it in the pink skies shade. Oh, this is pretty. So this is what it looks like. I like that. I'm about to see what it looks like on my lips. Mm. Oh, it's got color to it. Oh, I need my phone. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. I like that. I didn't even think it would be that. That is really pretty. I love that. I normally get the uh, lip glass from MAC. I forget the name of it, the one that I get. That was all I got. I don't even know how much I spent. Look at the lips. Let me see. I really like that. I oh, can't wait to show my husband this. He's gonna love it. Okay, first things first. Real quick, let me prop y'all up. So this is the candle that I love, that I got from TJ Maxx the last time I went. I didn't vlog that day. Baby, this right here smells so good. It's called Fall Moon. Y'all, when I tell y'all it smells so good, $14.99. So this one was $14.99, the Fall Moon. But this thing is huge. So that was the candle I was telling y'all about. Madria Sangria, baby. Uh, it's the fresh citrus. When I tell y'all this is so good. 10% alcohol. It is so good. And I think it was only like $13. I forget who put me on to this. I don't know if they have it at Walmart, but I know they have it at Publix. Um, they may have it at Walmart though. I don't know. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But it was like $12, $13, I think. So good. So, yeah. I'm about to get into my self-care Sunday, do some skincare, do my face, body, soak in the bathtub. I think I'm gonna watch the um, Funny Marco and Kevin Hart interview because I heard it was really funny. I haven't seen it yet. And I'm just going to relax, wind down, fix me a glass of wine. It's like you had to help him from stop going to the war farm. It was called Get Hard. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nowhere near knocked up. <laughs> like, what type of... Are we doing research or we just kind of... No, 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 I got... That was me. I can say that was... Uh, it's so many movies you got. That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you forget your movies like, oh, damn, yeah, I did that. Right? No, no, I kind of I kind of know them all. How was you in high school? You gonna help me get the groceries out? Mm. 
Gonna grab some bags? Or you just gonna watch? What's up? Oh, you one of those. Okay, honey. Come on. Come on, let's go. Get in, you're not going nowhere. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day, it is Monday. And I just gotta fill y'all in on how my Monday is going. Let's, let's just go and get straight into it. I know y'all heard of the whole Walmart delivery thing. I've got a few people that's recommended that to me and was like, it was very convenient and they love it. So I've only did the Walmart order a couple of times. I normally do the Instacart and I look a mess. I know I just left the gym. I'm gonna catch y'all up on everything. I did the grocery delivery yesterday. You know, I told y'all I had errands to run. I didn't want to go to the grocery store. So I just did the delivery. So I got a notification cause they kind of like, if you've never done it, they send you like, kind of like statuses on your groceries, like when they're being bagged and when they're being um, on the way to be delivered. I ordered like 32 items total. We have the ring camera on our um, door. So when I got the notification, they had been delivered. I was like, okay, let me get up and go put the groceries up. So they take a picture of what they delivered. Girl, I looked at the bags. I told Tony, I said, this is not all of our groceries. <laughs> he was like, you, you sure? I'm like, I promise you, babe, these are not all of our groceries. Like I ordered way more than that. As I started to look through the bags, I was like, yep, definitely don't have all the groceries here. None of our meats is in there. I had to call this number and I had to file a claim. And we basically had to go through all my items and I had to tell them what I did not get. Why the total amount of groceries that they're having to refund me for that we did not get? Let me, let me make sure I'm right on it. $87.70. <laughs> That's how many groceries we were missing. When the woman dropped them off, mind you, I said we have the ring camera. I was trying to figure out, because I watched the video, she was trying her best not to show her face in the video, y'all. Like she was moving so strategically where she like, I don't need my face to be on this camera. I don't stole these people groceries. And I'm just like, that's what I had to do this morning. I went to the gym, got up, worked out, went to the gym, and then I had to go and get groceries. Anywho, happy Monday, guys. And I know my hair looks a mess, but I'm not flattering. I'm not flattering it. Flat. I'm not going to flat iron it today. But anywho, that's how my Monday is going, but we're still gonna claim a good day. We're not gonna let that steal our joy. We are going to have a great Monday because I feel like Monday set the tone for the week. And y'all know I try to see the positive, so I'm gonna look at it like this. I still have money to go get the groceries I needed, even though that refund has not hit my account yet. So that's the good I'm gonna see in that because Y'all know when things are out of my control, I try to see the good in things. Cause I mean, what else are we gonna do? Now, sometimes I'm human, I might feel defeated. But today, I'm not gonna feel defeated today. You can't have my joy, Satan. This is what I got this morning. I got my eggs. Cause y'all know breakfast is a big deal over here. We, we don't miss breakfast in this house. Got my turkey meat. This is the brand I like to get. I like the uh, Butterball All Natural. Got my shredded cheese. Oh, my hands is ashy, y'all. Sorry, I've been washing my hands like crazy. I just left the gym, okay? And I just left the grocery store. So as soon as I get in this house, I wash my hands. Got me some almond milk. I got some chicken thighs. Oh, I got boneless chicken thighs. Oh, I wanted to get the bone in. Uh, chicken tenderloins. I got me some lettuce because I want to start back doing my salads for lunch and, you know, maybe for dinner. Got my... Turkey meat. Now y'all know I really like the carve, uh, what is it called? The carving board, I think that's what it's called. They didn't have it. So I just got the smoked deli fresh turkey breast. And then AJ don't like turkey, so I have to get him the ham. So I got the uncured ham, onion dip, because we've been doing this with our taco salads instead of um, sour cream. Got some restaurant style tortilla chips for Taco Tuesday. Got cheese shredded cheese. And then this is the turkey bacon I use. I have a lot of people that be asking about this. This is the turkey bacon I use y'all. When I tell y'all it is so good. If you've been looking for a turkey bacon and you feel like it just is forcing you to go back to the pork, <laughs> get this one. So I guess I'll go ahead and um, get to work and I'm just gonna, once I get some work done, I'll just hop in the shower then, do my skincare routine. And we're just gonna have to do what we gotta do. Hey guys, so, okay, it's a while later. And real quick, so y'all know I had told y'all 
that I was no longer drinking Celsius drinks. Well, baby, it has been a whole struggle to say the least, okay? I was even Googling like the most healthiest energy drinks and Celsius kept popping up as the top um, healthiest drink, which we know that's not true. So I started to do more research and then my sister-in-law has sent me this page. Let me see if I can find it. So I found the page. This is what it looks like. It is on Instagram and it's called Just Ingredients. And one of the posts they had, I saw where they were giving alternatives for like energy drinks and like giving you, now why is this popping up? I hope y'all can see that. <clears throat> so I started to look through and look at the brands and I Googled them to see what stores offered them. And Sprouts was popping up for a lot of the drinks that she had mentioned. So I was like, okay, so I'm gonna go to Sprouts. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy different ones and i'm gonna drink a different one each day this week and i'm gonna decide which one i like the best then i'm gonna show y'all what i got first one i got is yeah i don't even i've never heard of these brands before and if you've ever used these please comment below and let me know what you what you think about them because this video should go up wednesday so if you comment and let me know I can kind of have a heads up before I go buy my next my next batch of energy drinks next week. But the first brand I bought was, I think it's, is it Yerbe? I think that's what it's called, Yerbe? It is in the flavor, it says plant-based energy. And I can't see in these glasses. It's black cherry pineapple. And then the next one I got is, I think this is Gorgy. I got this brand. She had this listed as an alternative for like a different energy drink. And then the flavor I got for this one. What flavor? I love this can. This is cute. Peach, Peachy King is the flavor I got for this one. And then this one is also the Gorgy. And I got the flavor Sparkling Watermelon Crush. Man, these flavors sound so good. Wait a minute. How am I holding this? I don't know how that's going to look on the screen. And then the other brand I got was, oh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Yerber, girl, I don't know. All I know is the flavor is cranberry pomegranate, okay? This is the other brand I got. So I got four, one for each day this week for when I go to the gym. And I'm just gonna see which one I like the best. And hopefully one of these, you know, will do the job because I need a little... <laughs> I need a little kick. I'm gonna try these out. Again, if you have used any of these flavors or any of these brands, please comment below and let me know what you think about it and let me know what your experience or opinion is. It is greatly appreciated. I'm gonna make some, I'm just gonna make like the little hamburgers with the gravy and the onions and stuff like that. I'm gonna make it with turkey meat and then I'm just gonna make loaded baked potatoes. Very quick and easy, very simple. And then I asked Tony to grab some Hawaiian rolls on the way home. So he's gonna bring those and we're just gonna have a good little meal, quick little meal. Okay guys, so just finished cooking and plating my food. It doesn't look so, I mean, I feel like the video really don't do it justice, but it's definitely about to be fire. I think I'm gonna add some more gravy to my steak, got my rolls, and then we're gonna do some key lime pie for dessert. Yeah. Homemade. Let me tell, it is not homemade. <laughs> oh, they made it from Publix, just not at our home. Yeah. <laughs> this is the key lime pie, y'all. It's only $10 from Publix, and when I tell y'all, 
It is so good. We're gonna have this for dessert. We basically having a Sunday meal on a, on a, on a Monday. That's, That's basically what we're doing. Cause I didn't cook yesterday and I think I started to feel bad. So I just left the gym, had a great workout this morning. It is, what is today, Tuesday? It is Tuesday, November 7th. Apparently they're doing um, updates on the gym that I go to, the Planet Fitness I go to. So next week the gym is gonna be closed, Monday through Wednesday, I believe. So I'm thinking about going to see if I can do like a, I don't know, a free trial somewhere and work out while they're fixing the gym. Or maybe I could check the weather and if it's nice next week, maybe I could just do my walks. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll try to walk like three miles in the morning. So I went back to the house. I had to pick AJ up because he has, he's in this club called DECA, DECA Club. And it's, you wanna tell them what it's about, AJ? It's basically business Ooh. and marketing. Oh, Hold on, sorry. It's basically just business and marketing stuff and today I have to go compete, sadly, but it's, sadly. it's exciting. Why sadly? <laughs> it's kind of both right now. Cause you're nervous? I was, but I just really don't know what it's gonna be. That's the thing, you just don't know. Tell them what Decca is, because I was telling AJ, I'm so proud of him, because you had to get accepted into that, right? Uh, yeah. What were some of the requirements? They, I think they, pretty sure they monitor your grades, and I'm trying to think, I really forgot a lot of it. You had to do an application. Oh yeah, I had to file an application. I even had to get it notarized. You're gonna do great. This is your, is this, the first one, was that a, mm -hmm. was that a meet last time you went? No, that was a, a like a practice or that was a com oh no that was a conference. Oh, so you had your first conference and so the conference was, was like too. different businesses and stuff set up. Is that no, what it was? it was like they were kind of explaining how certain business things work and all that. It was really cool. I'm so proud of my child, John. He is just amazing. <laughs> Have a good day. Good luck on everything. Love Thank you. you. And you said Love they'll you give too. you your blazer. Uh, I think so. I'll ask. I'll yeah, text you and keep you updated. Well, you look nice. Thank you so much. All right, love you. Love you too. Okay guys, so I just dropped AJ off and now I'm headed back to the house and I wanted to give you all an update on the energy drink. This is the one I did today, the Georgie Peachy King. And it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if I told y'all this, but I don't drink tea. This is a carbonated tea apparently, but it didn't taste bad. I feel like I could definitely do it. I'll make it do what it do. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I just got off the shower, did my skincare, ready to start my day. I have a question. If you have the Sony ZV-10, and I think I'm saying that right, does your camera just randomly cut off? I've noticed mine has been doing that, but why is my camera just like randomly just cutting off? <laughs> Cost too much for that. It's a pretty big box, right? <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. It's funny how you could be randomly talking and then be quoting something from TikTok and then you gotta say it how they say it on TikTok. Or am I the only person that do that? Wait. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, we're gonna talk about this in a second. So, what I got was my Uggs. I love these. So y'all know the platform Uggs are in. Why does it have this stuff on there? I don't like that. A little dusty, crusty, musty on the side. What we got going on here? There was no discount applied. I <laughs> gave me some used Uggs. No, I'm just playing. Anywho, the platform Uggs are in this year, guys, and I absolutely love these. These are so cute. This is in the chestnut. Baby, I already got my outfits ready. Y'all know I love a cute, comfortable outfit. So I'm excited about that. But let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. I know Victoria's Secret is always running that deal where you get a free gift with your purchase. So I knew I was getting a tote, but baby, I did not know I was getting the blanket too. How cute. Let's open this. They done gave me a bag and a blanket. I should have did TikTok on this. I can't wait, I'm too thirsty for that. I got to show y'all this tote. This is so, oh my God. This is so cute. I love it, Carrie's a girl. And baby, look at this tote, y'all, for free. These are so, this is so cute. It's like the, um, 
The Sherpa, this bag is originally $60, baby. And they just gave it to me for free. For the free free. Oh, yes. And y'all know I love black and white, black and beige. That is so cute. Ah! It's got like a little Sherpa on the inside. That is so warm. I love it. Oh, look, it's got the logo. Let me see. This thing is huge. And then it's got the Victoria's Secret logo at the bottom. How cute is this? Guys, I think this is gonna definitely be the end of this vlog. I think I've held y'all long enough in this video. So I'm gonna end the vlog here as always. Thank you all. Why am I holding these scissors like that? That's giving creep. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I know as always, I appreciate y'all support so much. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We would love to have you as a part of the family, y'all. We are working over here. Also, make sure to hit that like button, turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. And I will see you all in the next video.